Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. If you want to help our channel grow, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and if you like the video, make sure to like it. We appreciate it. It helps us grow. So if you want to see more pops, you got to pop that button. Thank you. Okay, guys, this is an inflamed cyst, an, an abscess. You can see it's tra tracing to the top there with that purulent discharge. Very firm out here. Um, this is called induration, where the body's response to that inflammation, you can see it looks like the cyst may have blown out this way where it's red and there's a little bit of purulence at the surface. So this is a perfect example. A lot of people always ask, why do we remove cysts if they're not cancerous? Because they can turn into this, which is an abscess or a cellulitis starting this reaction to that cyst wall popping in there. And there's gonna be fluid, there's gonna be cyst particles and contents. This is one he's had for years and you know, they told him, well, we'll just monitor it. If it gets bigger, we'll remove it at some point. And sometimes this happens before you get it removed and then we have to kind of get out the particles and get as much as we can. We never get 100% usually when they're like this because it's kind of like trying to eat soup with a fork. You just can't get every little particle, but we try our best. We're gonna do a little bit of numbing here. We talk about the acid base shift quite often about how you know he may still feel a little bit of the pushing and tugging. So we go very soft and go slowly. And we're just gonna do the numbing here where we're gonna be cutting and try to get a little bit on the edges for him too. But thanks again to him for sharing the procedure. This is gonna be a simple incision and drainage and we're gonna, he's gonna feel a lot better and sleep a lot better tonight. <laughs> You're very soft, Fluxions very right. firm, very firm. Mm -hmm. Definitely fluctuates, possibly an opening right there uh, to the pore. Mm -hmm. He is coming up to the surface there though, but our cut line will be right there in the middle. Looks like the cyst possibly blew out that way. So you're gonna have a couple little pokes, okay? Sorry. Doing okay? Yeah. Good. Just gonna try and infuse some in there. Oh. Yeah, sorry, that's right where it's gonna sting where it's red there. Oh, you want to that hurt. 11, blades. 11 blades, good. It's going in, just a couple seconds of burn and then it should start to go some numbness for you there. That's the worst part. A little bit down here. We want that to kind of trace through. If I go too deep, I'm just going to put it in the pocket so you really want to come lateral. Little squirt there, I think it's it. <laughs> that's mostly lidocaine. I hope. So that's good. Now I'm gonna do, we're gonna be pushing down here, so I'll do a little bit down at the edge. You feel anything here? Not too bad? Uh, left of the other one. Maybe. Good. Yeah, the first one's always the worst one. That's good. You're gonna feel a little out here at the edge, just a little poke. This is a sensitive area, but I'm gonna be pushing out here. Oh, but if you want to room those other two, I'm going to let this uh, kind of sit in on him a little. Okay. Give him a couple minutes to let that dissipate, hopefully take hold. We always talk about the acid base shift. We're hoping he's going to be pretty numb. You feeling this here? Yeah. Okay. Just getting all around the edges. You can see that vasoconstriction there, how that redness goes to white. That's good. Now, sometimes this takes great, and sometimes, you know, they'll still feel the pushing pretty decent. That's why we go very gentle. So, we're going to let this sit for just a couple minutes. I'll be right back. Are you comfortable there? Yeah. Okay, just a minute. I'm going to let that light. All right, guys, Mr. Pops is here, Greg Lynch, Durham, PA. We have the uh, IND we've been talking about. He's ready to go. If you want to, you can come on the other side, or if you can see better there, that's totally fine, too. doesn't matter. We're going to use an 11 blade here to make a little cut. Any pain there at all? No. Good. How about now? No? No. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to get cyst particles there for sure. Quite a bit. I like to use the 11 blade so I can turn it better without the handle. A lot of people ask, why don't you have the handle? Mm -hmm. I have better dexterity without it to be able to turn it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to be applying some pressure here. You're going to see that this cyst is going to start coming out. Mm -hmm. 
If I'm pushing too hard, let me know, okay? Right. I know you're gonna feel a little bit. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. That was a chunk of the cyst. Good. You're doing great. If that's not hurting too bad, then that numbing's working pretty well. Yeah, that's <clears throat> Perfect. So that's a lot of cyst particles here. Now we're gonna roll this up. Mm -hmm. That's catch basin. Yeah, I'll take another, that'd be great. So what we're gonna do now, uh, he's pretty numb on the surface here. However, down low, he could feel a little. So I go nice and slow with the sterile blunt extractor. Let me know if you feel anything, okay? Uh, Nothing there? Yeah, I can feel you. Little. Hand, but... Okay. Yeah. This way, he's a little more inflamed. You might feel some up here. Breaking up some loculations in there. To... Oh. oh, right there, yeah. Uh, there we go. I thought you might feel more up there because you were more red up there. Yeah, that one. How about here? I can feel your hand, but it's not sharp pain like the other one. Right? Good. So that's deep. We're all the way down here. That was a pretty big cyst. I don't need to get super rough just to kind of swirl that around and break it, and we'll get another good push here. Just like that. We're going to get more. Good. Lots of cyst particles, so. Now I push from different levels here, coming left and right, up and down. Still getting a lot of cyst particles. Thank you. If you wanna, let me put that in. Perfect. Good. I can still feel quite a bit of cyst in there. There we go. <clears throat> I like to infuse quite a bit of lidocaine in there so we can push at these different angles. We're getting lots of cyst particles. That was quite a cyst you had. <laughs> you can see the indentations we're starting to see there. That's what we want. That pocket is emptying. A little bit there? Okay. Yeah. Do we have more Lido? I'm gonna give yeah. him a little bit of the bottom of the pocket here. Might feel a little pinch, okay? So I'll try to get that down in the pocket a little and into the tissue at the lower part. Feeling that? Not too bad? Not too bad. Okay, good. These are more pressure when you're putting pressure on it. They're, those are tough to numb. That's good. Down on this side too. Also get a little flushing with this, which is never bad. Okay. Still gonna feel a little, but hopefully that deadens some of it. So the forceps that you have there, the without teeth. Yeah, teeth. Right, teeth are fine, with or without. So a lot of times where you cut, you'll see some cyst wall coming through there. You can grab some cyst wall like that, start teasing some of it out. A lot will be attached. That's the pore, you can see that punctum. <clears throat> Couldn't really see that in the beginning when it was so swollen, but now you can see how it's attached. That was the original pore that got clogged with the cyst. That's where that's coming out. Do you have a scissors too or no? Do you have that close? So that's the obliterated sack there you can see. So I'll go in and try to loosen up some of that a lot of times. So just cut and see if we can trace it back. If he's not feeling pain there. And detach some of that for him. There we go. 
Good. No stings or pinches. That's a little achy. Just sore from the pushing probably, but no sharp pain right now, right? Right. Perfect. So when I get down deep and cut very slow, you don't want to cut into some of that very tender tissue. Now there's no way we'll get all the sack wall. It's just obliterated into a million little pieces, but we try to get as much as we can visually see here. Pretty good size sack there. You can see thin, thin walled, but there we go. You get some more out of there. That's a pretty good chunk of cyst there too. So once you start tearing that wall apart, you'll start getting bigger pieces too, which is nice. Some over here. Man, he's gonna feel so much better getting all that out of there. Still have some wall here. Okay. And we're getting a pretty good chunk of wall there. Sometimes it'll be attached at the bottom where it's tender, so just gently pull. He's pretty numb up top, it looks like, which is good. Quite a bit of sack there. Just one little strand right there. There's fibrous tissue in there as well. That's what connects to the cyst wall. That's why these are so difficult. Well, oh, right there. Okay. Well, we're gonna stop right there because I put nine cc's in there. I'm just gonna cut the sack from the wall right here. A little blade, just like that. And that's how you know is it deep enough. <laughs> So a lot of times I'll use this to kind of open and look in there and we can see a big deep pocket. A little bit of cyst wall on this side, but not much left. Any pain here? No. Good. Just a tiny bit and cut there. That's what was attached to the punctum there, that little opening. Get that traced out here. Good. Is that on top of a different floor or is it? Right here, mm -hmm. that's just where some purulent discharge was kind of tracing to the surface. Mm -hmm. This right there. Let's see, just kind of push it out. We've had a couple like that where there's so much pressure, it's just pushing, pushing all to the surface. Comes out any pore it can. <laughs> One more deeper push, always a little blood when you're cutting the sack out there. You can see that indent goes all the way in. It's looking good. <coughs> so the packing elbow is right over there. Yeah. I'm gonna do a little flush first and then this is just saline. We just put the head of that in there. Push that in, it's getting nice and clear coming out. Not many cyst particles in there at all. Another good, perfect.
perfect. A little bit of blood. That's it. I do see some cyst wall right there. I'm gonna get that last bit and then we'll do. It's probably gonna take a pretty decent amount of packing. So we'll pull like about three feet out. Um, I'll show you once we get to it here. I just wanna see if I can get this little bit for him. That's some inflamed tissue there too. You're not feeling that at all, huh? No. Good. So that I just walk back. Just the little bits of wall. If you try to get every little bit there and start pulling around, he'll be pretty tender and you're not going to get it all. So if you get what comes out easily, you can only get them so numb. Once we put them on the antibiotics, that looks good. 24 or 48 hours? 48, we'll do Thursday. Keep okay. a big pressure bandage on there with a lot of gauze to soak up. We'll clean that all up. Um, a little, just a fresh one I can clean. You did great. We're going to put some packing in now. I got so much out. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You can even see that redness is already going down quite a bit. Big indentation there. I'm just going to put that packing and then she'll clean up the rest there. Not really getting much fluid at all now. Or cyst particles. So we just start feeding this in now. This is impregnated, it kind of helps kill bacteria if there's any. 50% of these have no bacteria. It's just literally the body's reaction to that cyst bursting. Let me fill it in there. If you're getting a little sensitive, let me know when I'm pushing, when you feel it. Well, I can feel it, but it's not painful. Not, not painful, just kind of pressure? Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. We're gonna do follow-ups with you too. Um, we'll get the packing out in two days and then I like to do like a two week follow-up after that. Right. And this little cut that we made heals pretty quick Then four to five days. Just right after you get the packing out, it closes up within days. It's a little painful right there. Right there? Okay. So once I, I fill down, you know, we keep filling. If he starts feeling little, then we turn to the other, other corner. That means we're at the bottom. I'm not sure if it's that or it's just the back. Well, you're, yeah, you might be getting a back spasm too. We're going to get you up here in just a sec. I know you've been sitting there a while. That's good. Quite a bit of packing in there. Some people don't even do packing. There's literature to show it doesn't make much of a difference. Mm -hmm. On big, deep ones like this, I'll do packing. On shallow ones, I usually don't. It does help if it's pretty juicy though and pretty ripe as I call it. This one was a ripe one for sure. Okay, that is packed and ready to go. Very good, nice and firm all the way around. Right there, you can feel that packing in there filling up the void. She's gonna clean that up, put a pressure bandage on. Thanks for popping by guys, that was uh, textbook IND of a large inflamed cyst that blew out one way, had a bunch of fluid and a bunch of cyst particles. You could see the acid base shift there. You could see some parts were very numb and others were not, even though I put more in. The bottom usually is just like a, a live wire. So you can't get real rough with that because you know, you'll just put them in a lot of pain. It's also very easily bleeds pretty bad. So that's good. We got probably 95 of that, 95% of that cyst out and it may re recur a year or two from now or three to six months from now, but we're going to follow up and see. And when it does and it's smaller, we can do a focused excision. So that's it. Have a good day. Okay, guys, we have the large back abscess follow up 48 hours later, and we're going to take out the packing and then put another compression bandage on there. We leave that little cut open. It's gonna heal once the packing's out in about four to five days, and we want it to leak in that time so it doesn't refill the pocket. I'll take this off. We expect to see some blood on the gauze and some oozing. It shouldn't be too painful. A little uh, dis, like discomfort pulling out the packing, but usually not bad. We don't need to numb or anything like that. 
A lot of good soaking up there. That looks good. Perfect. So I'm just going to grab here and gently start to pull. You can pan back a little too if you want. Let me know if you feel any pinches at all. Yeah, I did a little bit there. A minute ago. No, the yeah, first. or just right in the yeah, it was kind of crusted in the beginning. Because there is a lot in here, like three feet. When we get to the bottom, you might feel a little, but not too bad. Very good. So that was quite a bit there, and I don't see a lot of fluid there. That's good and very empty pocket. That's nice. The redness is all gone down. You still are what's called indurated. So semi-firm here because we're only 48 hours out. That antibiotic's going to start bringing that down. You can see this big pocket there when we press just gently. It's empty now with that packing out. This has already started to close a little. We had cut them a little bit farther, so that's good. It'll just lightly kind of ooze. Um, we're going to put a nice padded bandage on there for another 24 hours. You can just change them every day. That will heal up and then this redness will go down. We'll recheck them in four weeks just to make sure everything healed okay and see if we can feel a cyst. Sometimes we can and then we'll have them back and do a little focused excision if there's any remaining cyst. But that usually takes six months or more. But we'll uh, keep close follow-ups for him and thanks to him again for sharing. That was a textbook IND, packing removed. It's already going down within 48 hours. It's what we like to see. And I'm sure he slept a lot better last night. <laughs> thanks for popping by. Okay, guys, this was our large abscess that we had on the lower back here. You can see the cut already healed up, just kind of peeling a little bit. All the induration is down. Um, you know, a lot of times there will be a cyst that reforms eventually, probably in this area, but it could take years. I don't really feel anything right now. Just a little bit of firmness to the tissue, but not much. I think we're about a month out now. Um, all the redness is gone except for this one little area, but that huge bump that was there, you can see is an indentation now. So it kind of goes in instead of coming out like that. So that's what we expect about a month out. You know, he's looking great, feels great, sleeping way better, I'm sure. And now we just wait to see, did we pull all the little remnants out and little parts or is there tiny little bits, which usually there is that may reform eventually. And we don't wait for it to get inflamed and burst again. When we start feeling a little bump forming, then we do a nice clean dry surgery, just a cyst removal instead of an IND for an abscess or inflamed cysts. So looking good. And thanks again to him for sharing. Um, this is four to six weeks out looking exactly what we expect. And thanks again.